As you may know, light is the fastest thing in the universe, 186,000 miles per second. A flight on an ordinary plane around the Earth would take about 50 hours, while a flight around the Earth at the speed of light would only take 0.134 seconds. But is it possible to travel even faster than that? Well, we can certainly try. This is an idea called faster-than-light travel, or FTL for short. This is what powers the coolest space stories, like Star Wars, where ships like the Millennium Falcon defy the rules of nature with their hyperdrive engines. Or think of Star Trek with its USS Enterprise and its warp drive. FTL would allow us to explore all the uncharted galaxies, maybe even meet some extraterrestrial life. In 1905, Albert Einstein introduced his theory of special relativity. This theory revealed some very important ideas. We learned that FTL travel could lead to some weird consequences. Let's imagine that you're in a starship and someone is standing still and watching you from the outside. You try to go faster than the speed of light. To the observer, it seems like something really weird is happening to your spaceship. As you go faster, they see it like a sausage, squishing and getting shorter and shorter in the direction you're moving. This squishing effect is what scientists call length contraction. This isn't the only weird effect. Relativity also tells us that time starts acting really weird when you go that fast. As you speed up, time slows down for you compared to someone watching from afar. So the faster you go, the slower time feels for you. For you, it feels like just a few minutes have passed. But back on Earth, years have flown by. And if you have a family member patiently waiting for your return, that person ages a lot more than you do. So, when you finally come back to Earth, you might see that they became very old while you haven't aged at all. This is called time dilation. We can observe this effect even in some everyday things. For example, in our GPS devices, who are connected to satellites way up high in Earth's orbit. The satellites move incredibly fast in space. This causes signals to speed up slightly. For the satellites, time passes a bit differently compared to clocks on Earth. So, the faster you go, the more time dilation grows. Which means, when you go FTL, time might decide to go backwards. This happens because the math says you end up with a weird minus 2 result. In other words, going faster than light can actually lead to an accidental time machine. This opens a room for different problems and paradoxes. For example, let's say you showed up in the past and see yourself. Your own past self looking back at you. So, if you high-five them, who started the high-five idea in the first place? There's also a famous grandfather paradox. For example, if you go back in time and accidentally stop your grandparents from meeting, this means your parents are never born, so you shouldn't exist either. Sort of like the movie Back to the Future. But if you don't exist, how could you have gone back in time to stop your grandparents' meeting? Or the bootstrap puzzle. Imagine you travel back in time and give Beethoven his own music before he even writes it. He becomes famous for that music, but where did it really come from? Did you make it, or did Beethoven give it to you? All these crazy questions make us rethink how time works. However, these aren't the only things the theory of relativity teaches us. It also says that real life isn't sci-fi movies, and the way we understand how the universe works makes it pretty tough to do the FTL stuff. There are several reasons for that. First, when you travel so fast, you really bend the fabric of space-time. So let's imagine space-time is a big flat piece of fabric. Objects with mass, like planets and stars, create dents or depressions in this fabric due to their gravity. In the normal way of traveling through space, you move along the fabric, following its curves and dips at a speed that's limited by the speed of light. But if you want to exceed it, you essentially need to find a way to cheat the rules of the game. You'd be like a magician who can warp or bend the fabric itself to create shortcuts. Basically, you fold the fabric in such a way that two distant points on the sheet come close together. This creates something called wormholes. Think of them as secret shortcuts that could connect different parts of space. If we could figure out how to use these wormholes, we could shortcut from one point of the universe to another. However, we haven't found any in space yet, and we have no idea if they can even exist at all. 
Another trick is that if you start going faster and faster, your spaceship gets heavier. It's like trying to sprint with a backpack filled with rocks. The more you try to run, the more tired you get, the heavier the backpack feels, making it harder and harder to pick up speed. No matter how much you push, you can never quite reach the speed of light because your spaceship's mass, its weight, keeps increasing into… Mm, pretty much infinity. And finally, there's the photon paradox. Photons are tiny particles of light. The reason we see things is because photons reach our eyes. But when you decide to go FTL, these little particles quit their jobs. What happens next is a big mystery. Maybe your spaceship and everything inside falls apart into dust. Everything inside your ship probably goes haywire and causes pure chaos. All these things show that no matter how hard you try, you can never outrun the speed of light. Which is why most scientists think going faster than light is probably impossible, as well as time travel and all that good stuff. But there are still those who dream about it. For example, in the 1990s, Sergei Krasnikov had come up with the Krasnikov tube. Picture it as a kind of super-fast subway for space travelers, where you can hop in and zip to your destination in a flash. But as you can see, we haven't built it yet. The problem is we need something called negative energy. Negative energy is a strange kind of fuel that only exists in math problems, not in real life. So, until we figure out how to make this make-believe fuel, these amazing spaceship ideas are still just dreams. And to build something like wormholes, we would need a negative mass. This is exactly what it sounds like. An object that not only doesn't weigh anything, it has a negative weight. What in the world does that mean? We have no idea. The main thesis is that if you pushed an object with negative mass away from you, it would accelerate towards you instead. And we really need that to teleport from one point of the universe to another. So, until we create this super weird thing, we won't be able to do that. Another scientist named Eric Lenz also made something like a warp bubble. But it would take an incredibly huge amount of energy, like eating hundreds of Jupiters. However, NASA is still really interested in his idea, and they're hoping to solve the energy challenge with new discoveries. Meanwhile, a group of researchers from the University of Adelaide has been working on finding a way to bypass Einstein's equations. They want to remove the light speed limit entirely, and their early results show promise. Well, let's see if they figure it out eventually. In any case, traveling faster than light is still a wild dream and a big mystery. For now, we have no idea how to do that without breaking the laws of physics. But that doesn't stop us. We'll see what scientists come up with in the future. Until then, please have patience waiting in line at the airport for your flight.